What is going on, my Pokemon Masters? Mr. Typhlosion back with our third absolutely outstanding team builder. Now, as you guys can see right there on the string, we, or screen, we have a powerful Dragonite ready to just be added to the party and, and, and do some work for us, guys. So, as you guys can see, we're running the fast physical sweeper Dragonite, adamant natured. Uh, we have Aqua Jet, Dragon Dance, Extreme Speed, and Protect. The reason I'm doing that is because I want, I really want this Dragonite to hit fast and hard. I'm going to throw Protect on there just because you don't see Protect too often on Dragonite. That's something that a lot of people really don't expect and they'll go for it and you just Protect. You, you know you Protect to scope out your opponent. So we have that first Mon. As you guys can see, all the uh, EVs are invested into attack and speed. Uh, bringing the speed right here, you can see the 259 for the speed and for the attack, a uh, whopping 403. So as as I said, this this thing is going to hit hard. Uh, multi scale ability, that's its hidden ability. We're gonna run the leftovers on it. I think that's a perfect set. Um, maybe not perfect per se, but I, I think that's a pretty good set to start off with. So as a weakness uh, to Dragonite, we all we have the dragons and we also have berries. Now uh, we also have ice types too. So. Uh, I didn't really think too much about the mons that I was going to be using particularly uh, for this. And whoa, look at that. Look at that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put some juice in it. Wait a minute. Hoopa. Hoopa. Wait a minute, Hoopa. Oh, yes. Wait a minute, Mr. Hoopa. So it looks like they updated the uh, OU tier just a little bit. They added Hoopa and Jirachi to it. I think Jirachi was actually on it already. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna think, okay, so, weaknesses for Dragonite, I think the best bet, I think the best bet for that, actually, would be to go into Metagross. Metagross, he's, he's very resilient, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of defense. Uh, Ice isn't really gonna hit him too hard, uh, but that's why we're gonna build around a little bit defensive. We're gonna build a defensive style mod. I actually kinda wanna run the Mega Metagross in that end that scent uh, and that so I th I've seen this I've seen this boom there we go so we, we got it looking pretty now we got it looking pretty so obviously the, uh, you're not you're not you're not gonna have that you're not gonna you're not gonna add the item obviously that's gonna be his item there's not gonna be anything else there's not gonna be a reason why he's not gonna have anything else tough pause uh, makes physical moves a lot tougher so uh, let's go ahead and Add, let's go ahead and add some EVs. So, <clears throat> there's no suggestions. There is no suggestions. Uh, so, uh, actually, the suggestions go off moves. So, moves, uh, I want to run the EQ just for spread coverage. Uh, EQ is obviously a physical type move and it, it, it hits everybody. So, I mean, that's that's great for me. That's great for me. Uh, I also want to do the hammer arm. Hammer on, arm. I about said hammer on. <laughs> We're playing Guitar Hero. Uh, Hammer Arm is actually a decent fighting move. It's absolutely one of the best and one of the most interesting ones to use. Along with Hammer Arm, I'm going to actually add Ice Punch for dragon coverage. See? Dragon for dragons. And I'm actually going to do, uh, I believe you can learn, um, I believe you can learn the gosh darn bullet punch. You might be able to run the bullet punch, but I'm, I'm not seeing it. No, I always thought this bad boy could run Bullet Punch. Well, in that case, uh, if Bullet Punch isn't happening, uh, I'm going to run the Meteor Mash for the fairy coverage, just because Dragonite is not going to like it. So we have the Ice for the opposite Dragon types, we have um, and the, the Meteor Mash for the fairy types, and that really covers most of its weaknesses. It actually, actually Ice, uh, Hammer Arm can actually cover the Ice types too. So we have all three coverages with the Metagross. Metagross is going to be able to handle a lot of those. Um, not necessarily weak against fairy, it's not necessarily weak against dragon, and it's not necessarily weak against ice. So I think Metagross would be actually the perfect mod here. Also, we have the fast physical sweeper right here. Uh, I don't know about that. The suggested uh, set is speed plus four, attack, what is it? No, it's special defense, speed, and attack. Uh, its defenses are already up. Its defense base without any investment, uh, full IVs, six IVs. Its defenses are looking at. 336. 336. So I kind of I, I kind of want to go 
I kind of want to go with their suggestion, but I don't want to put it in speed. I kind of want to put it towards a special defense. I kind of want to put it towards a special defense, so let's, let's see what a 2, uh, 52 I believe, um, to special defense do. And that brings its special defense all the way up to 319, which is better, which is better than that 2 something. And then I'm going to put the rest actually into attack giving us that 389 and then I'm gonna put a little bit a little bit into uh, the HP bringing us to 302 now I, I think that's an alright set um, oh actually let me go ahead this, this is a great determining factor I'm gonna I'm gonna make him adamant nature uh, I'm not too too worried about a special attack and that brings his attack actually up to 427 so that's perfect that's absolutely perfect you're strong into my Dragonite I believe and we have a nice little move set. The Tough Claws is actually absolutely going to help out with these boosted move sets. Uh, so Meta Metagross, I haven't used you like at all. Like, maybe when the event came out, when X and Y came out, I think that's the only time. So Metagross, we got weaknesses to Dark types and I believe Fire types. I believe we do have a weakness to Fire types. And in that event, I'm going to go ahead and run the huge power um, Azumarill. Each power, right? I didn't know you had Saps in there. That's crazy. So, traditionally, with these, you see the Aqua Jet. Um, do you see the, uh, I believe you do see the Belly Drum. I believe you do see the Belly Drum with this. So, let me go ahead and find. Uh, actually, you, you see the Play Rough. Belly Drum. I don't know what I'm just thinking of. I don't know what I was thinking of. We see the Belly Drum, uh, the Aqua Jet. And that's usually all I really see when, when, it, when it comes to the, uh, the Azumarill. I'm actually going to run knockoff on it. I'm going to run knockoff on it. That way it can get the coverage of uh, those gosh darn psychic types. You know, Azumarill can go in there and do some damage. Uh, and then I also, also, the tears are slipping my mind. It actually can go for the Gardevoirs too. So we're not going to be afraid of Gardevoirs whenever they do come out. We're not going to be afraid of the Gengars whenever they come out. Um, we might be a little bit afraid because they do carry the Thunderbolt sometimes. Uh, and then I, I feel like the last move, I feel like the last move I honestly wanted to use, you know, I'm going to throw Protect on him just because. We're going we're gonna to actually use this set to Justin, uh, the bulky physical sweeper, and we see it going to HP, attack, and a little bit to, um, gosh darn, special defense. But I'm going to go ahead and alter that just a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to put it in attack, so we're going to go ahead. You're gonna put that into attack, which brings your attack not so high, but Azumarill is not really a bulky mon, as you can see it's base attack. Uh, but we're gonna bring it, we're gonna bring him all the way up. And then we're actually gonna put the rest in the I mean, it really doesn't matter. Honestly, it, it really, it really doesn't matter. It honestly does not matter. But we can see his HP goes up to 404, which you are so bulky. You are so so, so bulky, and I, I think I'm going to put investments with this, with this into your attack, so I kind of want to run an adamant nature as well, uh, I, like I said, I'm not really concerned about your special attack, you know, your special attack really is not a concern to me, um, but all those are physical moves, and I also, I, I want to run, I'm not too sure what to run with here. I want to run the, you know what, I'm going to run, gosh darn, not choice. I don't want to choice. Actually, no choice. I'll run the. I'll run the focus sash. I'll run the focus sash just because there might be an instance where they might KO him in one hit. Because he's not, he's not that bulky. He's bulky, but he's not that defensive. Um, he might be able to live a hit, but that's a chance, you know. Uh, I don't like risking. Because he's, he's going to have some power behind him and he's actually going to hit hard. So I want him to last. I want him to last to do his job. I can life orb you, but I don't think it'll take that much power. You have the huge power right here. The Pokemon's attack is doubled. Your attack is doubled. So with that, when that play rub comes through, or that gosh darn uh, knockoff of the Aqua Jet comes through, it's going to hit hard. And you're already, your attack is already all the way up. So I think Focus Sash would be fine just in the instance of uh, something happening. So uh, we're going to get the next Mon, and I actually had the Mon in my mind. I had the Mon in my mind, and I lost it. I lost it completely. Uh, so I have a feeling 
I have a feeling I need to start start turning to uh, some ground types. We usually never run ground types. We usually never run ground types. And I, I, I feel like I'm going pretty bulky here. So I'm going to leave Tyranitar out of this one. Uh, Tyranitar is actually on my other team, I believe. Because I'm sitting here looking at my 3DS to make sure that I didn't use Tyranitar before. I believe I did. I believe I did. Let me actually go back to my boxes. You guys can't see that right now. I, okay, so I did. I used T-Tar and I, I'm, I'm going to refrain from using it. So this time we're actually going to bring out the Hippaldon. The Hippaldon is pretty bulky as you can see right there. And it's, it's HP status and it's pretty defensive. So I, I think I know what to run. I think I might know what to run. So let me, let me check your abilities first. We have the Sand Force, which I'm not really too into. I like the Sand Stream. The sand Stream. Uh, it's gonna help get some residual damages off, and I, I love those residual damages. So, so what I'm gonna do for you is you're bulky. You're bulky. I'm not too sure about the move that I should play or the item I should place on you. I'm really not too sure. So when you're not too sure about the item that you want to put on a mon, you're really not too sure. I kind of like to go to the moves to understand what exactly you're going to be doing. So let, let's, uh, let me look at all these first. Uh, you guys can't see the bottom ones after the weakness policy. I kind of might want to run, I, I might want to run the weakness policy. But you're not really special offensive, you're more physical offensive. So, uh, we'll see. So we got the body slam, the crunch, the EQ, the fire fang. Fire fang, bro? The ice fang, the iron head, the tech, the rest. Or the rock slide. Now I, I I have a set for you. I do have a set for you, and I might have to take uh, the leftovers off the dragon ring. So I, I might have a set for you. I, I actually carry whirlwind. You carry whirlwind. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm just a little bit concerned by why you have whirlwind. Why do you have whirlwind? So I actually have a perfect set for you. I'm I'm actually gonna um use you as my fodder. Uh, you're actually going to be pretty freaking annoying. So we're going to get that uh, Toxic, that Whirlwind. Uh, we're going to get the gosh darn. I want to get the Slack Off. Slack Off looks pretty good. And you're not really going to attack. Per se. You're not really going to attack. What you're going to do is you're going to get in there, you're going to set the hazards, and you're going to do it. So we're going to get, we're going to be the physically defensive uh, defense, the HP, and this. Uh, I, I, let me alter that just a little bit. Let me alter that. And, uh, and the reason I do that, and the reason that I do that, is because, uh, as I told you guys before, I do put these mods to the power saves. They are not... Everything that you guys see here is exactly how I make them. I don't alter them. Well, first, first, it's physically impossible to all my speculators out there that are against power saves. It's physically impossible to make a mon so powerful, like, against regulations, like, everything, EVs, 252 all around. You can't do that. You bring it on GBA and it will kick it out. It will kick it out completely. So, um, whoever's tried that before, they know what I'm talking about. If you actually get a power save and use it for YouTube videos like I'm doing right now, I legitimately make them exactly how I show you guys. There might be small little tweaks for their moves just because, you know, a certain move might not work or it might not have been out at the time. Uh, it, it just really depends and I alter them just slightly. But as you guys can see right here, we're going to uh, with the uh, bulky, physical bulky set, which you're not really going to be attacking, like I said. You're just going to be sitting there, you're going to be getting off that gosh darn, you're going to be getting off the residual damage, the hazard damage, and you're, you're just going to be blowing them in and out. <laughs> we're we're going to be uh, whirlwinding them just back and forth. We're going to be toxic someone, per se, in a sense. So, let's look at the HP. That's 420, 420. Uh, and then that defense, that defense is 360. That special defense could use a lot of work. That special defense could use a lot of work. And with that, I kind of do. I kind of want to use an absorb bolt. Let me see this real fast. Uh, your special attack is raised by one stage of hit by... You know, that would be good if I was actually trying to attack you. An assault vest would be decent as well. But I, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything. I, I'm not attacking. I'm just sitting there and hopefully living. That's that's what I want to do. 
So actually, I do have a perfect plan for you. I do have the perfect plan. I would want you, I would want you to carry the leftovers, but I actually have a better plan for you. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use the uh, uh, the red card. Let me see exactly. The red card, if the holders hit, the attackers switch randomly. Uh, the foes, the attacker to switch a random ally. Okay, cool. So, uh, this will definitely be the plan. Uh, if they hit him, they will be red carded out. He can stand, he can talk to them a little bit more, he can do what he's got to do. Uh, that covers any electric types that might go for a super real. Uh, he can coincide with the Metagross. I mean, it works. It works. Uh, as long as I can get the focus and attention off of him, he can sit here and he can do his job. Alright, so we're going a little bit, we're going a little bit in depth this time. We got, uh, this is going to be our fifth mod, and we're going to have one more after that. Uh, so we have, so far, a Dragon type, a Psychic Steel type, a Gosh Darn, we have a Water type, and we have a Ground type. Uh, I see the Deontay there. And you guys can pick up your Deontay's. Uh, I'm recording this actually on Friday. Uh, I think it came out today. So if you guys haven't picked up your Deontay's yet off of Wi-Fi, you might want to, uh, to do that. You might, you might need to do that. So I do see the, I, I see the Escadrill. I see the Espadrill, and I haven't ran an Espadrill in quite a while, and I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm still thinking about it, and I'm really thinking about it. I kind of want to do it, <laughs> and as in screw it, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Actually, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait There's one key thing that I see we're missing. I, I'm actually gonna add Zap. Because uh, we are missing an electric type, and Zapdos is pretty sweet. Uh, it can be, and it has electric type coverage for those Azumarils we might run into. Also, for those uh, flying types that we might run into, we can use the Charizard quite often. Uh, and like I said, you're pretty fast, so you're gonna go ahead and you're, you're, you're gonna wreck house. You're gonna wreck house, so I, I know what to do with you. Uh, I'm gonna choice spec you. I'm going to choice spec you. So, which you see this, uh, the holder special attack is 1.5, that it can only use a single move. So we're going to choice Specs you, although I want to choice Scarf you. I really do want to choice Scarf you. But, uh, Static is hitting the moment. I don't think that's out yet, but we're, we, we don't really need that. We don't really need that. So we see that we can run that in pass, bro. So I see a lot of heat wave. I see a lot of heat wave on the Zapdos. So I'm gonna run the heat wave. Uh, Tailwind sounds good. Tailwind does sound good, but we don't really have any speedy mods to kind of go off of that. But that could easily be changed over the last one. So I'm actually gonna run the T bolt. Uh, I'm gonna run the T wave. Obviously, I'm gonna run the thunder wave. And then uh, for the last move, for the last move, I kind of want to run the, uh, the bolt switch, and then I also kind of want to run the U turn. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with the U-turn just because uh, we already have an electric move, and I feel like the U-turn would be a little bit better just in case I want to get there, get some damage off, and then go back out. So uh, just based off the moves, we have the spat, the fast specs, which is everything in speed, everything in special attack, and uh, a little bit in special defense, and I like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, we're, we're gonna see a timid nature. We're gonna see that special attack go up to 349, and uh, I, I can live with that, and that speed is 328. You're pretty, uh, pretty speedy. We're gonna choice you. What we did right there, and I, I think that's a good, nice set for Zapdos there. All right, and last but not least, last but not least, I did think about it. I did think about it, and I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the gosh darn Escadrille, and I, I have, I have, I have the plan for you, Bubba, Bubba boy, I, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. I got the plan for you. So I'm gonna actually run the air balloon on you just in case we pair you with a uh, Hippaldon, which is gonna happen. Which is going to happen. Which is going to happen. All right, so the Pokemon uh, Sand Rush, we have the Sand Rush ability. If Sandstorm's activated, the Pokemon's speed is doubled. Immunity to Sandstorm. Uh, we have the Sand Force, the Pokemon's ground. Rock Steel goes 1.3 times in Sandstorm. So we're actually gonna use the Sand Rush ability. It's pretty standard. We are honestly, we are honestly just going to wreck house with you, bro. Uh, I want, I, I want you to be my fodder, honestly, truthfully. I want you to be my fodder, but I don't think that's going to happen. Why? Just because I don't think anyone's going to be really running hazards. I don't see anyone else running hazards, really. Uh, so we're going to throw the X-Scissors on you. 
uh, just just for those dark types, just for those uh, psychic and dark types, uh, just in case you might need to take those out. I feel like running poison jab as well, just for those fairy types, those grass types, um, go ahead and take those out. Um, I'm going to run the earth power instead of EQ because we already have the EQ and his idea is not to be hit. So I don't want him hitting anyone else. I don't want him hitting anyone else with really that. And I do want to run the Brick Break. Brick Break is a really good move. Uh, Focus Blast, I don't really like Focus Blast. I don't really like Focus Blast at all. You know what? I'm going to run the Rock Slide. Because uh, we, we can run into those pesky flying types. And we're gonna, uh, see, the Fast Physical Sweeper. So everything is invested in speed, attack, and a little bit of the special attack. And that's fine for me. We see his attack. Gosh. Gosh. Oh my god. Look at that special attack. Or attack. I'm sorry, not special attack. Look at that attack. 405. Holy crap. So the three most powerful mons are the Dragonite, uh, I believe the Metagross, and the Gosh Darn Escadrille. And that's exactly what I like to see. Your speed is going to be doubled. So what is that? That's two. That's four. That's like four. That's four something. If I'm correct, that's like four something. Um, but that is going to be the team, guys. As you guys can see, the team builder took a little bit longer than last time, but I, I had to put a little bit more thought process in this. There's a lot of mons that I saw that I wanted to use that I'm probably going to use next time. Um, I kind of like this team. I kind of like where this team is heading. We do have two weaknesses to water, though, uh, but we're going to see if we can get around that, and Zapdos is going to be there for just that instant. Zapdos is going to be there just for the moment they bring a water type out, and I'm going to be like, BOOM! But uh, if you guys like today's video, make sure you give that thumbs up and support of the channel. Uh, share, subscribe, like, comment, do, you know, do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing with all, all the YouTubers like, but you know. Uh, <laughs> your guys' just visual support is, is fine for me. But uh, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited about this team, make sure you check out next week's battles. They're going to be awesome. I'm not saying it like I've already done it. I haven't done it. I probably will do it soon. Just, just saying. I probably will do it soon. It probably will be pre-recorded. So if you guys try to suggest something to me, I will read it, but I won't be able to do anything for the next battle. But they're most likely going to be pre-recorded. But thank you guys so much for watching and to all my Pokemon Masters out there. Have a great day.